Ladies and gents, welcome back. This is a story I've wanted to bring to you for some time. I've had individuals come to me, but for very good reason, cannot go public with their stories. Now we have breaking from the Ottawa Citizen. Ottawa police officer faces misconduct charge for allegedly donating to the Freedom Convoy. Now this is, uh, yeah. The format's terrible here. So I'm going to go over here. Ottawa police officer faces misconduct charge for allegedly donating to the Freedom Convoy. Uh, Ashley Fraser breaking this story from the Ottawa Citizen. An Ottawa police officer accused of donating money to the Freedom Convoy has been charged with misconduct. Christina Nelson, a constable, appeared before a brief disciplinary hearing on Thursday. She's being charged with one count of discreditable conduct. She did not submit a plea. OPS professional standards investigator allege Nelson donated money to the Freedom Convoy Fund on Give, Send, Go, a Christian crowdfunding website. Nelson is alleged to have donated the money on February 5th, 2022, as the Freedom Convoy trucks were stationed throughout the downtown core and police were already facing pushback for failing to remove them. Now, at the time that this occurred, this was a legal uh, organization to donate to. This was put together um, from the leaders of the Freedom Convoy, uh, Tamara Litch, uh, BJ Dichter. They put together this fundraiser for their protest against uh, mandates in Ottawa. Now, what happened was the Give, Send, Go was hacked, criminally hacked, and the information of their donors was distributed freely on the internet. Now, certain government officials have been using this to their advantage, and uh, the media immediately started sending out emails to donors uh, asking for confirmation. Now, if people gave confirmation to the media, that would be uh, legally binding. They gave that information now, uh, as far as I'm aware, they uh, cannot use that information in a court of law as, as far as I was aware of. And But here we are, charges are being laid against uh, Ottawa police constables formally for having donated to this protest. The charges against Nelson detailed a notice of hearing content Content, uh, sorry, a notice of hearing content that she knew or reasonably ought to have known that the money was being raised for the illegal occupation known as the Freedom Convoy. Now, the the protest has not actually been formally, as far as I'm aware of, stated as being an illegal occupation. This is the reason why the Trudeau government insisted on using the Emergencies Act because there were no, if there was an illegal occupation, there were there are police service uh, tactics that they could have used to dismantle the protest. However, it was not deemed a occupation. It was not an occupation. So they could not dismantle the protest because they were still within the legal bounds of what a protest is. And that was uh, confirmed by a judge during the hearing Uh, where they were asking for all sorts of injunctions. The judge did, at the time, give an uh, award an injunction to the city against the protesters not to use horns, air horns, or any sort of uh, noise-making device uh, like an air horn. Uh, An injunction for 10 days at the time. They were asking to have the, the protest declared illegal. He did not do that at the time. Nelson acted as a disor- in a disorderly manner or in a manner prejudicial pre- to discipline or likely to bring discredit upon the reputation of the Ottawa Police Service. The professional standards investigator allege, so these are allegations, at the hearing on Thursday, Patrick Laflamme, Laflamme Nelson's union representative said he was hoping to have the matter resolved quickly as the disciplinary process was causing her stress. She will have another disciplinary appearance later this month. The OPS has served Nelson with a notice of increased penalty, notifying her that her if misconduct 
is proven on clear and convincing evidence, the service may seek penalties of dismissal or demotion. Nelson earned 105000 in 2020 and 104000 in 2021, according to Ontario's Sunshine List. Now, this draws into question uh, what people can be prosecuted for or uh, given disciplinary action for in uh, law enforcement. And and this goes across the board for Canadian citizens uh, anywhere. Can, can the organization that you work for use hacked materials to uh, have some sort of disciplinary action used against you? Uh, this We'll see how this goes forward. Um, I'm not a lawyer, so I'm not giving any sort of legal advice on this case here. But I, I can confirm that this is something that is happening within police services. I've had people approach me, like I said at the beginning of the video, with good reason cannot come forward to tell their story. But again, we have this breaking on the Ottawa citizen. So this will be something that's developing, and I'll be following closely to see what happens. But this may set a horrible precedent for any sort of service, not, not just police services, where political motivation can uh, award the, well, oh, give, give grounds for disciplinary action. This seems very political in nature. But that's just my opinion. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think of this situation. Uh, from what I heard, uh, this, this is quite serious. Uh, people are having disciplinary action and being threatened not to come forward for further disciplinary action if the story gets out. Now, we'll see what happens here with this constable. Um, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Uh, if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Let's you know when I go live. I'll be going live this evening at 6.30 Pacific time. Check your local listings on that. Sorry, if you went to check the live stream yesterday with uh, Allison Moreau, that didn't happen because, well, congratulations, she had a bouncing baby <laughs> yesterday. So she is doing well, and uh, they have a new family member. So congratulations to them. We'll catch up on that stream again. She sent me a message saying, sorry, uh, we were kind of tied up at the moment. Fair enough. Absolutely. So <laughs> we'll do that when it's possible again. But yeah, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Hit that like button, and we'll see you in the next one. Keep on drugging.